So you already know how to code, you're thinking about learning how to code, and now you're thinking, how can I monetize this skill? And now let me tell you, I have some good news for you. Coding is a highly, highly valuable skill that's very in demand, and that's quite easy to monetize in a couple of different ways. And I'm gonna tell you why, so stick around, and the last one might surprise you a little bit. First of all, you can sell an actual app. Now, this is one of the more common ways that people get into coding, and what this entails is that you have an idea, something that you want to develop. You, for example, think, I have this task, task tracking app or this habit tracking app that I just know is going to be a banger or it's something more complicated a finance tracking app for example and you want to bring this idea to life you could hire someone to code this for you but you're going to spend a lot of money tens of thousands of dollars in most cases depending on how complex the app is and you can even go up to hundreds of thousands of dollars so one common way of getting around this is learning how to code yourself and what this then entails is that you have your idea and you build the app. The coding here is just a bridge. It's just a vehicle for you to get to this destination that is in your case, product development. So you can then monetize it in various ways. You build an app that you then monetize through subscriptions, for example, how you pay for Spotify every month, or you monetize it through a one-time purchase. You sell the app, download on the app store. You can also do it through advertising. So for example, if you develop a game or an app of some kind, you can at certain intervals show an ad inside of the app, which would then generate revenue for you. So that is number that is one way to monetize your your app development skills is to build and release an app or multiple apps on the App Store or the Google Play. Number two is freelancing projects. Freelancing projects is quite a broad term. It can entail quite a lot of things. For example, it can be just doing one feature on one already existing app, or it could be as far as building an entire app for someone else. I've done both of these options, both number one and two, developed my own apps as well as done freelancing. And the pros of freelancing is that you don't really need to worry about whether the app sells or not. If you develop your own app and it doesn't sell, then obviously you're not gonna make any money. Whereas for freelancing, if you're developing an app or a feature, you don't really have to worry about selling that app. If that, that app doesn't sell, that is on whoever has given you the task. You can go quite broad with this, but I would recommend specifying. So for example, maybe you specify or you niche in on working on algorithms in AI apps, for example, or integrating AI into mobile apps, or you go another route, for example, you do AR, or you just focus on being front-end and doing very nicely visualized apps. So you can then hop on different projects and work on those projects and then charge based on either the project or based on the time that you spend. Number three is app development consulting. And you might diff ask, how does this differ from freelancing? And there is some overlap here, but when I say consulting, I more mean advising. So for example, maybe you become an expert in a field and you're able to advise other people who are working on a project. And then you can then say, oh, based on these are your requirements, I would recommend that you uh, allocate this amount of time, use these plugins, use these features, for example. But you can also consult in that you do, for example, app marketing strategy. You know that these types of apps are marketed in this way. Or you can also do testing, such as you hop into a code base, you take a look at the code base and you say, this looks good. It doesn't look like there are any errors or I would improve this, I would improve that or I'm, and I would change this. So it's more of a advisory role as opposed to a hands-on coding role. And that's kind of how I distinguish consulting and freelance, where the freelance is a little bit more hands-on. You're the one coding, you're the one building. And in consulting, you're less hands-on, but you're more strategizing and you're more giving advice. And both of these are great ways to go. And if you start to do this by yourself, those are two things that can be combined. You can both offer freelancing services in that you build a whole app, or you can offer consulting services in that you do advisory type of stuff. I would say that there are probably more opportunities out there for freelancers than for app consultants, but if you become very good at one particular niche, then obviously there's a market for you, regardless of which path there that you choose. Another way is to create and sell app templates. For example, if you hop onto Code Canyon and take a look at what they have there, app templates are things that other people can use when they start developing apps. So. If you, for example, build a great looking laundry time management app for these big houses that need to have people be able to book a laundry room, and then you sell this template for other people who want to build other apps that are similar to this. Maybe, for example, you build a template similar to this with time booking, uh, registration, etc., and then you make it adaptable so other people can buy this template and then uh, they can adapt it to, for example, tennis court booking or gym booking and stuff like that. So you build it for one purpose, but you kind of make it so that it's quite easy to adapt to other situations and then you sell 
this template. I would recommend doing this if you have a reach or if you have a personal brand of some kind so that you can attach this to whatever you're doing. You can actually check this out in the description down below. I have a couple of templates if you want to get started with Flutter development. But this is one way if you like cranking out apps and if you're good at it, you can definitely check out selling templates in places such as Code Canyon or through your own platform. Number five is to white label app solutions. And now there are quite a few apps out there like this, but what this entails is that you or together with someone else build a white label type of app. And one business idea that I've had here, please feel free to steal this, is for coaches. So coaches, for example, it could be tennis coaches, swimming coaches, for example, but it's a platform. So you build an app that's quite easily to, uh, easy to adapt and change colors, change branding, for example, and you build this one app that you can then change for the next customer that you get. So say I code tennis coaching app. Then I can sell this to Matthew, who's a tennis coach, and I can sell this to Linda, who's a tennis coach, and they can use that specific app. One can be called Matthew's Tennis, the next ones can be called uh, Linda's Tennis, for example. But it's the same code base or a very similar code base that I can then adapt for other situations. And this is quite good, if, again, if you have a specific niche that you have some kind of foot into. So maybe you're someone who's been a very professional swimmer or tennis player or football player or gym goer, and you know that you have an in and an understanding of this particular market. One way to monetize your development skills would in this case be to build a platform for this that's quite, easily to, uh, quite easy to sell and adapt to other people. And the way you can monetize this is then you can either do revenue share, where when Matthew goes out and he gets 100 booked coaching instances, you take 10% or 20% or 30% of that revenue. Or you just sell it outright to him saying, hey man, this is gonna cost you uh, $40,000. Number six is to offer app testing. And this is coding, but it's also not coding and it doesn't really have to be. This is good if you're just starting out where you have an understanding of coding and you're programming, you understand the fundamentals, you understand how in broad strokes, when you click a button, you understand what happens in the back end of a mobile app. Because what I've found is that a lot of people who offer services where they test mobile apps, they go through it, they look for bugs, they look for what's wrong, for example, they could be offering a much greater service if they actually knew what was happening or had an understanding of what was happening in the back end of the app. So you can either hop into the code base and do some error testing through just looking at the code and running specific and writing specific tests inside of the code. A written test in code is where you write up a test or a set of functionality that's, that a set of code is gonna satisfy. So for example, this type of code should output a certain number or it should output a certain type of variable such as a string for instance and you write those up and you help people test but also you could just get your phone you could go through apps and you could put this up on fiverr or upwork or something like that and you just go through the apps and you say okay this button leads to this but it doesn't update the state on this particular page and you see i'm implementing some of this coding language because it would be much better for the developers to partake in these results if they actually got the feedback in a language that they understand as opposed opposed to the button doesn't work. So that's one of the ways that I would monetize this if I'm getting into coding and I don't really want to spend all of this monetization effort on just programming, but rather stuff surrounding it. So see if you can test apps for other people and offer that as a service. The last one is to teach app development. And now this can be a little bit of a gray zone. I'm not really a big fan of the people who sell coaching and that type of stuff. But what I mean here is you can do one-on-one -on -one for the people who are learning computer science in university. You can do coaching if you're an expert in some particular field for uh, companies who are looking to bring that feature on into their app. And you can also just teach people in your local vicinity, for example, set up a short class, set up a free webinar to begin with that you then begin charging for, but different than variables that you charge for teaching. Maybe you're very good at state management inside of an app and you offer to speak, you offer to lecture at a local school or university about state management in programming uh, or mobile app development then in this case, and you charge based on that. This is a little bit less specific and I'm not really a big fan of coaching, but if you're good at one particular thing, or if you're a good speaker, or if you're a good storyteller, then I think this would be a pretty good way for you to monetize your app development skills. If you have any other ideas or any other ways that you are monetizing your development skills right now, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm always curious to hear what you're doing. I have tried most of these things myself. I've obviously uh, built apps. You can check some of them out in the description down below. One that is gonna be very relevant for anyone watching this is VenturePals. It's an accountability app. Feel free to check it out. I also have an app building agency where I do 
some of the things such as freelancing. I've also done app testing and I've done a little bit of app teaching before and I know that it's possible to monetize all of this. It's called Paul Node Studios. That is the name of my app development studio. Feel free to take a look. It's down below. Also, all of my other assets such as a free Notion template for managing your app development is down below as well. All completely free of charge. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this type of content, then feel free to subscribe. It's completely free of charge. It's a bargain. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.